Hey, what's up, folks? I hope you're all well. This is Ragnarok here with a brand new Mortal Empires campaign. We are going to be playing a co op Mortal Empires campaign with Shadow Online Gaming with a little bit of a twist. We are going to be competing with the infamy, see who can become the most infamous pirate. Shadow is going to explain exactly how that's going to work once we get into the campaign here. And yeah, I'm really excited, uh, really excited for this. Shadow is going to be playing as Mr. Count Noculus and I am going to be playing as Ernesta Salt Spite. So it should be a very interesting. I'll go over the uh, the campaign mechanics here in a moment very quickly. But before I do, I just want to give a special thanks to Creative Assembly, Loremaster Sotek, and Shadow Online Gaming for getting me this copy of the DLC. So, um, yeah, that's, uh, yeah, I'm really thankful. Um, basically, what happened, it's, I don't know, a little bit crazy, but... Uh, Creative Assembly uh, gave some um, some pre-release copies, I think, to Loremaster Sotek, and so Loremaster Sotek gave um, gave them away through a draw, which one of them Shadow won, and then Shadow, who had already uh, pre-purchased the DLC, uh, decided to give and give it to me because um, I, I hadn't had the DLC on here, so. Yeah, thank you, Shadow. Uh, thank you, Lore Master, and thank you, Creative Assembly. That's that's fantastic. I, yeah, wasn't wasn't really planning to get this DLC for a while, uh, just because I'd been planning the Empire campaign, which uh, I'm enjoying the hell out of. But yeah, I, I'm really excited for this. This should be a lot of fun, guys. And yeah, I I don't know. We'll we'll see how it goes. Right. So Vampire Coast. Shadow is going to be playing as Count Noculus. So, race attributes, infamy, and loyalty. So we'll get an in-depth look at how how this how this works. I mean, I'm sure you guys are probably pretty familiar with it by this point, but for me, it's a little bit new. So, destroy, sack, and raid. Build a reputation at sea whilst keeping ambitious commanders loyal and trustworthy by imparting riches and wealth to them. Pirate coves gain infamy and leech wealth from unsuspecting settlement owners where these hideous, uh, where these hideouts have been formed, and then extra power powder boost the firepower missile units can output in battle, while they have high levels of ammunition at their disposal. So, some interesting, interesting mechanics at play there. So, right. So the dread fleet. Gain war declaration missions with unique rewards. Uh, pirate crew recruitment capacity plus two. Recruitment duration minus one for Necrofex Colossus units. And then upkeep minus 20 for Necrofex Colossus units. Weapon strength plus 15% for large units. So some really great stuff in there. Obviously Shadow's going to be leaning, uh, working towards getting more of these guys because they are incredibly powerful and they're even more powerful for count noculus not to mention cheaper to have in this army so it gets to start with one so should make him very formidable right from the beginning and right, let's take a look at Vanessa salt spite obviously the same race attributes diplomatic relations minus 100 with norska great it's always nice to start with someone someone who hates you bitterly. Chance of finding treasure maps, plus 25%. So that's... I, I, I guess that's okay. I mean, you know, whatever. Income from rating, plus 50%. Don't really depend on rating for income, but it does... You know, like... In this campaign, I can see it being useful while you're in enemy waters just to uh, to boost the income because I mean you've got to move through those territories anyway so maybe just leave enough movement to use the rating and just try and use the rating more and more frequently so I'll, I'll try and take advantage of that whenever I can income from sacking settlements plus 20% so that's that's not bad characters of Lord Aurora leadership plus 12 weapon strength plus 20% for all Sartosan units 
and melee attack plus eight for also chosen units. So I think probably what I will be doing is spamming these Sartosa free company, I think. Um, now, unfortunately, I didn't sort of figure this out until episode three, which um, technically hasn't been recorded, which brings me to the um, scheduling for the series. So uh, Shadow and I have recorded the first two episodes, which are going to be back to back. So you're get, getting one episode today and then one episode will appear tomorrow. Now, the next episode, um, episode three, um, won't be appearing probably till early January. And then what we'll do is we'll try and get them back to back again. So probably record episodes in pairs. And then that way that gives you guys time to put input on the campaign and just give us um, yeah, feedback and advice, name characters, all that good stuff. So um, just try and keep you guys a part of the campaign as much as possible. So what we're going to do is record two episodes and then air them back to back and then have a little bit of a break in between the two episodes and give you guys time to comment, all that stuff. And then we will uh, record the next two episodes and get them up. So um, the reason why there's going to be such a break in the first um, between episodes one, uh, one and two and three and four, uh, just because uh, Shadow has got a uh, tournament coming up. So, which is going to take up the rest of the month of December on his channel. So, we're aiming for early January, I believe, to uh, to get the, the next couple episodes on. And hopefully, they'll be a little bit more frequent after that. So, yeah, we'll see where this campaign leads. I think it's going to be a lot of fun. I hope you guys enjoy it. And, yeah, uh, I'll see you on the, uh, the campaign map with Shadow. Right guys, so I should mention that if it does seem like I am half asleep during this recording, it's because pretty much I am half asleep during the recording. Um, yeah, we had actually scheduled it for a, a couple hours earlier, but I slept late. I was up really late the night before. I don't know. I can't remember if I worked late the previous night or if I played football the previous night. Whatever the case, I didn't wake up on time, woke up a couple hours hours late, and was a little bit rushed to get started with Shadow here, and yeah, definitely felt groggy during the uh, first two recordings here, so yeah, just bear with me, and uh, you know, Shadow, as usual, is on his game, but uh, yeah, for me, a little bit a little bit off in the the commentary and with the uh with the gameplay a little bit maybe right okay then let's have a look so we're all loaded up you're all good to go are you yeah i think i think so okay so shall we begin yeah sure let's get started so Hi guys, um, should have had our intros edited in if we're clever enough. I, I don't know, based on Ragnarok's story, just told me. <laughs> um, <laughs> we, yeah. yeah. Uh, so yeah, here we are. I'm playing as the Dreadfully, and who are you playing as? Uh, the Sartosa. Is that uh, who it is? Yeah, I, I believe yeah. so. I don't and even know. Our Nessa so Spite, I think her name is. So, okay. yeah, salt spite. God. So, what are you doing first, then? All oh, right, it's my. I, I get to go first, do I? Yeah, ladies first. All right, so riddle of the map maker. I didn't even realize this was a lady. To be perfectly honest. She, yeah. Well, we're, the, we're the, being the... PC in this one. <laughs> of our last campaign, we both played as two male white males. In this one, we've got a woman. That hasn't got any legs, so we're being more politically correct. Yeah. Um, so yeah, <laughs> yeah, I guess so. <laughs> Let's use a woman. All right, so mission issued riddle of the map maker find the hidden treasure by solving the treasure map. Um, oh, using the dig for treasure. All right, so where, where's the treasure map? That's on the okay, on the right there. 
All right, so this is right in this starting province, basically. Well, that's easy then. All right, a great horde treasure received. Treasury plus two thousand, infamy plus one fifty. So, what? Uh, and do you want to explain exactly what our uh, what what our goal is here with the campaign? We're we're gonna be using the infamy mechanic. Like we're we're playing it co-op. But we're gonna use the infamy to compete a little bit. Um, to do you want to explain this. exactly? Exactly. Oh, how yeah, we're I can do that while you're doing your turn. I thought we we're gonna have that in our introductions, but if you want me to go over what we're doing, so guys, um, because you got this infamy table, not many people have used it as an action mechanic. So what me and Ragnarok are gonna do is we're gonna have a race to see which player gets to the top of the infamy table first. That is it. It's just. Who can get to the top of that table as quickly as possible? So if you go to the table now, as you can see, um, Ragnarok getting that treasure got 150 in for me, so he's now above me. Um, but we got to work our way up, and we could do that in any way possible. So it's going to be quite a more open campaign, a lot more we can just do what we want. And yeah, that, that's the main thing there. Is we're just racing to try and outdo each other in for me. Uh, my spectator, are we open to open this? Yeah, we're gonna have to open this one. So yeah, that's the main point of the campaign. It's just to the race for infamy is what we're doing. And each episode's gonna be about 30 to 45 minutes long. So very similar format to our last one. Yeah, yeah, I think so. Should be. It's just obviously we're not battling straight away in the corner of a map. We've got the whole ocean and we're just going to try and do missions and burn stuff down and raid pillage. You know, the usual. Well, got some unique buildings here in Sartosa. I would have thought so, yeah. Yeah. Peg Street Pawn Shop. Golden idols, exotic animals, dwarf bear kegs, spice resources, elven trinkets. Oh, nothing special then. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> the, the pirates, though, they're not, like, as far as trade goes, they don't, like, they're not really built for trade. Uh, like, most of the trade buildings don't upgrade very high. If you look at, like, the, the, the different resource buildings, they're, most of them only stay at, like, level 2, I think. All right, I think I want to get the economy going, I guess. I guess that's the most important thing, starting off. and do something crazy and get rid of my my barracks in Sartosa. I think I'm going to replace it with the... I want to get mortars right away, to be honest. You, you do love those mortars. Yeah. Yeah, and I think should be able to raise dead for most of the... most of the troops to, to fill the... Fill the army the roster. Alright. What were you saying that you think is the best to to go for first for research? The Um it was the Admiral's Astrolabs, because that makes you immune to storm oh, and yeah, pressure. Right. Yeah, that does sound like a good idea. It's like a very good idea. Okay. And, and the then... finish then you don't have to worry about the others. Yeah. You just get that one and then Yeah. Then it also allows you to unlock the legendary admirals i think it does yes oh that's interesting cool um commandment available i guess probably growth is the best thing to start with yeah don't do the thing i did i tried to raise public order but it turned out it was costing me infamy so my infamy oh, was actually going down to me lost minus 10 per turn what the hell Holy yeah, so Recruit as you can see though, stuff. guys, on my channel anyway, you can see that Ragnarok's already gone up to 467 to my 200, so we should need to be going 267, but we do have to get to like, a, what is that, 12,000? Yeah, 12,000 in for me, so it's going to be a little while. Death yeah, it's going to take some time. In the business of despoilment. There is no time for games. Behold my mighty chin. Seriously, he, he <laughs> makes me giggle. Uh, he just... 
No need to beg. All right, thank you very much, sir. I was gonna request some some cash for that trade agreement, but I figured. No. <laughs> <laughs> figured I wouldn't get it, so yeah. No try. <laughs> Oh, Greenskins don't want to give me any cash for non-aggression either. No love. Never mind. King Is that the broken nose tribe? Uh, yeah, I think so. The one with the little lightning bolt. Yeah, the broken nose. Yeah, the lightning bolt on their on yeah. the shield, their emblem. Um. What? Now, guys, you're gonna have to give Ragnarok a bit of time here, because um, we've only had a little bit of a practice on this, and he hadn't touched the DLC beforehand. So, uh... ah, possibilities here. Yes. He yeah. No so I'm a little, uh, yeah, a little unfamiliar with these guys. Plus, you know, I, I'm slow at the best of times, anyway. So yeah, that's what there is. there's no rust. There's a that's what playing as the undead. It's take all the time in the world. Right, so just wondering what the best thing to upgrade for the ship is first. Go for the campaign movement, upkeep re reduction, casualty replenishment. So a lot of good stuff here. Is there something that gives the the ship more more growth? Grows it more quickly? I don't know. Yeah. How many slots do you get for the ship? Ten slots. Wow, that's pretty good. Yeah, it's... Bring that increases growth. I don't think there is. Hmm. Ah, yeah, there is. The Heavy Ballast. Pirate crew growth, 4 plus. Unit experience gain per turn, 20. Oh. Oh, unit experience plus 20. Hmm. So your guys just sit there and get better and better. Pirate growth, crew growth plus four. So what's the growth right now? Okay, zero four? out of 20 turns into a surplus point. Okay, I see. Well, it's got the... Yeah, so it, it pretty much doubles it. Yeah, all right. I think I'm going to go with that. Whoops. Even though I really would like to get that campaign movement range. But I guess getting growth and being unlocking those extra spots, I guess, is probably mm. probably the most valuable thing. And getting the experience as well. So your guys just sat there will be getting points for it. Yeah. All right, let me just see where my next treasure map is. You have to draw it on the map so you can show us where it is. All right. Uh, it is down here. It's not too far around this area I believe okay no that's not far at all yeah in, into the Badlands is that that, that the area uh, just south of the Badlands yeah it's quite close to Natakawa isn't it the Tomb Kings mm -hmm. right guys now it's actually my turn so um, I've got to get my own treasure we also have um, Trespassers be down. Defeat the following Lord's army in battle, which is the army that's just offered as a sacrifice. But when I do, I get powered by death for five turns, which ups my campaign movement range by 100%, and growth goes up by 20 for all provinces oh, wow. for five turns. And all I've got to do is beat some rubbish pointy elf. So, do I want to raise some dead? Um... Probably. Probably fun to do that. Go get one of those. Um, yeah, there's quite a lot to look at when you first start, isn't there? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Like, I, I mean, that's one of the great things about this game is all how how differently all the all the factions play. Yes, definitely. And uh, it does it does take some time, a little bit of time, to learn all the different factions. So, um, I'm just gonna urge resolve this because this will be nice and quick. 
Well, I suspect you wanted to use the Colossus, but um, <laughs> you can wait for that. Yeah, yeah. No, that, no, that's all right. You, you let me try it out a little bit when we uh, when we did some practice. So, yeah, that was fun, eh? Just every game we had, I was like, here you go, I have the Colossus. And he was giggling. <laughs> giggling as he done it. It's so funny. <laughs> so, um, yeah, that's that done. Or oh, I've commandment available, of course. So, okay. Um, yep, yeah, we'll go with that then. We'll dredge the sea, which does more growth. We'll do that. And. Oh, I've gained an experience already. We'll go even faster. It's all about speed. I'm going all speed here. Right, diplomacy. Can I make any trades with anyone? Or at least non-aggression packs. Nope, he won't go any further. Okay, what about you? Oh wow, you rejected that. That's a bit harsh. Um, none of you really like me. It's sad. No one likes me. Yeah, the diplomacy is takes a little time to. I, I mean, usually in order to get some treaties, you have to give them some some small gifts here and there, uh, unless you're unless you're fighting someone they don't like, and then and then usually they'll give you the diplomacy, but the well, I got more trade than you, so that's the important thing. Oh. That's, um... And I sell... And the treasure map, for me, is just south of me. It is no. around here. Around Poxmas is where I've got to go. Oh, so we'll okay. be going there next turn. And we will end the turn there, is that right? Yeah, no, we're all good. So while we're doing this, guys, we'll um, I'll discuss about another idea I mentioned to Ragnarok, which I think he really liked the idea of getting subscribers more involved, which was you guys can send us tasks to do. Um, could be in secret, you can just do it in there, um, the comment section. So if you've got one for Ragnarok, you can put it on this channel. If you've got one for me, put it in my comments. And how much gold the other player has to pay them for completing such a go. So let's say someone told Ragnarok, I want you to, it could be collect three treasures, or I want you to be an army of this faction. If he does it, you could put in, if you do it, you get like a thousand gold of shadow. If he does it, I then have to give him that thousand gold. Um, but we don't want anything too ridiculous. Say, oh, take out this whole faction or something that's going to take a stupid amount of turns to do. But just little things to keep you guys involved in that and, you know, mess us about a bit. Um, I think Ragnarok was quite up, up for that idea, weren't you? Yeah, idea of... <laughs> yeah I think it's um, I, I think it's a great idea. I, I would just note, or I'd just say that um, for the rewards, uh, just to keep it within reason, uh, simply yeah. because uh, we don't want to bankrupt each other. Uh, I mean, <laughs> it, it's just a little. Some of the subscribers could jump in. So I mean, we'll obviously discuss if we see a comment. It's like actually for that, we'll do it for this much gold or whatever. So. Try and keep balance to it all. Yeah, yeah. Try and keep it balanced, and um, yeah, nothing too ridiculous, but yeah, it should be fun. Give us some nice little side uh, side quests to do. Yeah, and it just gets you guys involved. I mean, you kind of have a um, influence on it. So, and of course, obviously, if the other person completes the challenge, and they could have multiple challenges at once, if they complete them, it makes the other player have to pay out which is going to make slow them down getting fame which is the other thing it's it's almost like a way of messing around with each other's fame without directly attacking each other and that you can yeah that's exactly it so do comment below on both channels you can go on both videos and put in the comments what you think would be good ideas we can on multiple ones but of course we'll look at them each time and might adjust them slightly or whatever, but it could be just discovering this location, get 500 gold or something like that, you know, and it's... Yeah. Hmm. 
Alright, so I, I'm at war with Tilia. I, I'm just wondering if I should try and let's try and go for their their capital, but is this what you truly I don't know. I don't know if I have enough force to take on a a full full settlement at this point. Not with two armies sat there as well. Yeah. Well, well, not one right. is just the general, and the other one, the other one back. is mustering, but he's mm. at nine, and then the garrison is thirteen. So yeah. I would be tempted to wait for them because they'll probably deal with challenges inland. Yeah. So I'll be tempted to see if they walk off, and then you can jump in there and grab it. Yeah. Yeah, that's a good idea. I should probably try and get replenishment here in the meantime, though. Mm. See, guys, that's an idea. See, that's the sort of thing you could say: capture that capital, get. 1500 gold or 1000 gold or something. It's, that's the sort of thing we're looking for. Just wondering where I should send my send my army. Out to sea, being they are pirates. Yeah, that does uh, seem like a good idea, but I don't I don't think you get replenishment out to sea. I think there is a stance you can do it. I think. Why do I only have 25% movement? When you're on land, do you have less movement? Maybe. I don't know. I was in different stance. I don't know. That's weird. No straggling. Anyway, alrighty. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go back to Sartosa. Yeah. Get moving. Back in that direction, and maybe come down and fight with the Knights of Arrigo. Maybe go for that settlement for minor settlement, but I need to get more troops. So I'm going to wait for my mortars before I do anything too serious. Yeah, let's not forget the mortars. The tides. Disband a few troops that I don't really want. Ready to swordfish. I think this rotting Prometheus is worth it. 289 per turn in upkeep cost. Hmm. Eh. I don't know. I guess I'll keep it for now. They, they are cool. Yeah, they are. Pretty, <laughs> pretty good Giant crabs for the win. He's dead. Alright, I guess we should pick up some more some more infantry, I suppose. Alright, I think that's good. Yay, my turn. First things first. Treasure! Uh, yes, let's do far sight. Right, so we've got to land on this beach of Pox Mars. There's a little force there. Not much of one, but. Right, let's make land in here. Um, yeah, we can grab one of them. Right, anyway, with that done, let's have a look at Gan's graveyard. There's probably not much to do. No, there isn't actually for me. Let's just see who we met that's new. Just see if I can get trade with as many people as I can as quickly as I can, but looks like a lot of them you can't. My ship. Uh, I think that's all I'm going to be able to do. Yeah, it is. See, nice quick turns. Yeah, that's the way to do it. Oh, 
would be nice if we can get a battle in this first episode. Um, I probably will when I attack Poxmarsh. Poxmarsh? Okay. Yeah. Make it worth it. I love the, the Galleon's Graveyard. <laughs> it's so cool, isn't it? Yeah. Such a great... Such a great settlement. It's actually got, um... Abilities as you upgrade it, ships suffer huge attrition when they get near it. Oh, so if anyone tries to okay. raid it or go near yeah. it, they just pretty much most of it sinks. That's amazing. Now, it's... does the the attrition, like the that technology that we research, for example, when I get near it, once I've got that technology researched, um, does that negate the attrition? I don't know. Let's find another look. Let me see here. So it says, I mean, just storm and reef attrition. Does that count as re reef attrition? Yeah, no, I think it does. Yeah, it's. Yeah. Okay. All right, so Sartosa, I've got one more turn before my mortars are ready. I think I'm just going to stay in Sartosa for one turn. Yeah, makes sense. Get your. Pick up those mortars and then probably head down. And attack the Knights of Arrigo. That seems like a just don't forget your hero. Well, I'm, I'm sending the hero to dig for treasure. I'll let him. I don't even that. have a hero. It's so oh, sad. That is sad. It's so lonely. Oh, so guys, just like the vampire, every series I've ever done, suggestion for names is always welcome. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Any settlements, characters, regiments, units. I know there's a couple of people that have already got ideas when I was doing my vampire one and this DLC was coming out. People going, I've got vampire pirate names. It's like, alright, let's get the DLC first. Then... <laughs> so I know there's got to be a short list on my first and second video of just names. Which I was looking forward to. Alright, raise some more dead. Kind of, kind of pricey. And let's see if anybody, anybody Land wants to trade with me. Weak. Don't worry. I got I a couple of trades, you. but I don't know the way you're quick to get ahead of me. I've got 231 infamy to your 467. It's like, oh. Well, as soon as as soon as you attack these guys, you're gonna. Yeah. That put you up. Yeah. Luther, you must be I like the Awakening Settlement, the Vampire Coast one, because they've actually got a lighthouse and everything on it. That's really cool. Mm, there are possibilities here. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. I, I like how they, they changed that for for this DLC, I think. I think they edited the, the, the original that was there. The original settlement. Luther, what's your what's your settlement like? Oh, yours is similar. The little cannons and nettings. Oh, no. It's just so cool. It's got so much character to it. Let's You've even got like, um, yeah, the watchtowers and that, the crow's nest inside the settlement. <laughs> <laughs> so they can see over the walls. Not really necessary. You've got a lighthouse, but okay. Yeah, we, we need to see what's going on around the settlement. You have a lighthouse. You have walls <laughs> and towers. But no, we want crow's nest. Why? Pirates. Okay. Mm -hmm. Exactly. My turn, is it? Outstanding. I'm no mermaid. Right, right. What am I doing? What am I doing? Well, they're recruiting up. They've got two units. Their defense has two, four, seven units, and there's no walls, the and I can't raise dead. Well, oh, that's Peggy Halfmast. You can't, you can't attack her. I'm just about to. Oh my goodness! I, I just got not, I, I, not aggression with these guys. Oh, did you? Yeah, yeah. I got them to pay me for it too. Six, <clears throat> to the tune of six hundred gold. It's nice. Well. It's right, I won't drag you into it. Oh, that's sweet of you. Stop their now they're saying that it's actually quite balanced, if not in their favour, but I think they forget one major flaw, and that is I'm giving Ragnarok the Colossus, <laughs> so um <laughs> He dubs that thing. 
Oh my. All right, well. Let's do it. Yeah. Don't forget, their bloat is just going to explode. So that should be fine. Hey, your troops are a little bit, a little bit damaged from that that first battle. That's the thing. The auto resolve now is not very, not very kind. I guess I I don't know. It can be, <laughs> it can be kind of. Just does a bit of damage on everyone, don't it? Yeah, pretty much. We'll be fine. I mean, the Colossus could probably win it on his own. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. That, yeah, it's pretty much Oh, and we got the Depth Guard as well. Don't forget. So that'll just cut through any infantry they've got. Oh, is that... Oh. That's like the elite infantry. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's nice. You get to start with those guys. Hmm. Vampire Coast Mutineers. Okay. Well, we gotta give that to him, or he might get upset. So we'll give him that. <laughs> <laughs> so I give you, um, I might give you one unit of probably the less units normal pirate that you give me, the better. <laughs> I'm keeping the good infantry. Um, so I want these two. How good's your micro? It's terrible. It's, Fantastic. It's Here, terrible. you can have the hand gunners. <laughs> <laughs> I have the utmost faith in you. The only thing we really got to look out for is the bloater, because that could do a lot more damage. But it's easy to pop. So, um... Wow, they really gave these units some love when they uh, did the unit models, the artists. They, they look fantastic. So They good. really do. Yeah. Right, are you ready to begin? Uh, I think so. I have a plan. What we'll do is, if, I, if we go in that general direction, we should be okay. <laughs> but, um, that's my plan. Let's go. All right, let's do it. I see the bloater going to the right. We need to keep an eye on him. Uh, maybe I can pick him off before he gets to the troops. I feel they're coming to us, so we might be able to make a defense line. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I'll just focus on the main blobs, mate. It's um, that's what we're gonna really want done. Guns. Yeah. I think the guns are gonna be able to shoot the bloater before he gets to them. I think so. Anyway. Move up, boys. I don't know where the bloater's going. He's... Is he trying to flank us? Probably. A flanking maneuver there. Or well, maybe he just saw something shiny. We just don't know. Can you move your guys in? Yeah, that's it. Alright, oh, bloater is down. Smashed. Let's see if I can take out those... Bats? Is that what those are? They're yeah, they're bats that are carrying um guys on. Because apparently that makes sense. I say that. Look what the colossus. See, this is what Ragnarok loves. He just <laughs> stomped <laughs> it in. Um, oh, is the blow to get him? No, that's the bats. Gonna send the Colossus over to deal with those guns. If you could, please, that'd be great. Because we've pretty much got this. Why you got. Oh, you got skirmish mode activated, that's why. Oh, bats. I thought you said you were dealing with them. I, I was trying, but then the. Uh, my my hand gunners are, are getting focused down by their uh, their gunnery mob, which is not going terribly well. So I'm trying to get the Colossus over there to free up those oh, hand gunners. Well, we've won this flank. Uh, my flank is not looking so great. 
Well, the bat should be dealt with in a moment. Oh, the Colossus is awesome. <laughs> <It's> so great. <laughs> this is what I mean. He, he loves it. <laughs> Oh my gosh. This guy's still flying. Before I send in a bombardment to help your flank out there. Oh, there we go. Yeah. Oh, the bats came back. Right, where my forces are slowly missing them through them for you. I love the way he tries to suit characters at point blank range. Yeah, it's fantastic. I love it. <laughs> so, what does he get? It's like a, a full on cannon for an arm. It's three. It's, three it's got of three cannons tied together. Wow. Yeah. And you watch when he cocks his arm, it reloads it. That's fantastic. There you go, drop a reverend on there for you. Quick, everybody, kill the kill the vampire. Everyone. That's Peggy Halfmast, man. Don't kill her. She'd be dead. Oh. Let's have stuff. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. What do you think they call her Peggy? Do you think she had a wooden leg? <laughs> Peggy half mast. Yeah. So she wasn't all there then. It's Yeah. Peggy you sixty one kills. So how did the handgunners do? I'm sure they did fine, but the colossal crying out loud. That went pretty well. Oh, the way the Command of the other forces, we Pete the Creeper. Um, <laughs> I I don't want to look too much into that name. <laughs> oh, uh, oh my gosh, some of the names they come up with sometimes, it's like, what the hell? Hmm. Well, they've probably put in, it's the fact that they probably put in a load of first name, second name. Yeah. But the older generation, it pits over together, and you're saying, that doesn't sound right. <laughs> <laughs> Is this really a children's game? I, I don't know anymore. It's <laughs> <laughs> so. But yeah, we'll be able to wrap up this episode. Yeah, I think um, so. Yeah. Now, did you want to immediately go to the second one? I only ask because then our subscribers could be aware that if they suggest anything in the first one, their suggestions won't appear to the third one. Um, I, I don't know. I, I kind of wouldn't mind. Recording yeah, another episode now. Just uh, I I don't know. Strike why the the iron's hot. Uh, yeah, I, I don't know. Once it's hard to put these games down once you start playing them. This is true. Yeah, and this is good fun. So guys, we what we do is we'll wrap up this episode and and then we're gonna get on straight to the second one. But obviously, any suggestions, any ideas, question that will be noted for the third one, and we'll make the changes then. What I'm going to do is I'm going to establish a pirate's cove. A strike is unparalleled. Oh, you and your pirate coves. Yeah, yeah, well, now I can get more monies. What can I get? I can get 60 infamy a turn. Oh, really? Yeah, or 40 infamy and fucking corruption. Or I could go for... Yeah, there's quite a lot of choices. You know what? I think I'm going to go over Smuggler's Cove. Infamy goes up 20 per turn. Income generate 200. Income from trade is 2% of whatever settlement faction holds the town for me. Research rate goes up by 2%. And I can see the region on my turn. Oh, wow. Can so, you... Go. The Pirate Coves, can you only establish them in... Okay, no, never mind. I was going to say, can you only set, establish them in the major settlements, or can you do them in minor settlements? But this is I've, the Pox Marsh is a minor settlement, so... 
Right. Exactly. Stupid question. <laughs> it's okay. We understand. And what I'm also going to do is dig for treasure. And we found a great hoard of treasure. So that's 2,000 gold and 150 infamy. Um. Oh, meal hemo. Wow, it's giving me a map, but actually only a misery hoard of treasure will be received. Then why would I bother? <laughs> More importantly, where is mm. this treasure? Oh, it's on your little island. Oh, yeah? Of the people you were thinking of attacking. Ferris? Oh, the uh, Ferris, yeah. The Knights yeah, of that's Rigo. where my next map is. They've got some treasure over there, do they? Hang on, should I have told you that? Can you <laughs> steal that treasure? That's... I, I don't think so. I... I I wouldn't be surprised. I think you should try it if you can. Um, yeah, maybe I'll send my agent there. Or, I mean, I guess I could even... Because you were going to invade anyway, weren't you? Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm going to be heading in that direction in a couple turns anyway. So, maybe. Maybe I'll take a look. See if it's... So, with all that money, I've upgraded my ship and the mast. So, I'm going to be able to move quicker. Oh, and this is already... Ah, of course, yes, we need population surplus. <coughs> Fantastic. Excuse right, me. guys, we'll wrap it up there. So, thank you very much for joining us. Ragnarok, do you want to say anything? Yeah, thanks for joining us, guys. I hope, you, I hope you're enjoying the campaign, and I hope, um, I hope we get some feedback as to uh, some side quests and things like that where you <laughs> want to see the campaign going. And, yeah, we'll see you next time. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff. Yeah, name suggestions, missions, or just forts, units, armies. I know my guys have a load of the often armies they want me to build as well. So, um, themed armies for the win. <laughs> <laughs> right. Uh, and don't forget, guys, your suggestions will be mentioned in the third episode because we're going to record the second one now. So don't panic if you think we're ignoring you. We're not. You know, we'll take it all on board. So, yeah, let's wrap it up there. Thank you very much, Ragnarok, and we'll see you guys next time. All right. Bye.